Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be taking a look at how to flip textures in Maya. So this is inspired by a question that my friend was asking for work. So he was asking how to flip textures without flipping the UVs. So I'll be covering three different ways to approach this, each with its own pros and cons. So the first two methods uses the regular Maya nodes. And then the second method uses Arnold specific nodes. Let's dive in. So normally you would probably look for this sort of um, attribute or function inside the file node. So you might think, oh, Maybe I just use the invert function, but invert only reverses the color of the textures. Not what you want, right? When you click mirror you, there's not really any visual change because it flips the textures between UV tiles. Now I will show you the first method. So the first method is the easiest method, which is just adding a negative value to the U or the V in repeat UV. So if you put negative one on U, it flips the horizontal. And then for negative one for V, we'll flip it vertical. Very straightforward. As you can see in the UV editor, the UVs are not flipped, just the texture itself is flipped. This is where the second method comes in. It requires a little bit more setup, but it's more flexible and should technically work with any renderer. So this is a brief overview of how the setup looks like. I have the float amount as the repeat amount, and then it's plugged into the place 2D node where the out float is piped into the repeat U and the repeat V. And up next, I have the place 2D plugged into the multiply divide node. And then from the multiply divide, I output it into a condition node, which is a switch to control the flipping and then not flip flipping like a toggle for both the U and the V. Finally, the, the two condition nodes are piped in back into the file texture node with the U and V accordingly. To toggle the flip texture, basically go to the first term and set it to 1 to turn it on and 0 for off. Same for the flip V as well. As you can see with this method, I can change the re repetition amount and still keep the flip settings. And now I will show you how to create it from scratch. First, open up a new tab in the note editor. Press tab and type in file texture node. Or you can use the existing texture you have brought into the scene already. And now I'm brought in the texture I created specifically for this tutorial. In the texture I added four different color squares and the text in the middle so you can easily see if the textures are flipped or not.
and then I piped in the out color to the color as a start. Then I expand the Place 2D Texture node and create a new Float Constant node. And rename it to something that makes sense. For example, Repeat Amount. Now take the out float and connect it to the repeat U and the repeat V. Up next, expand the UV coordinates on the file and then tap and type in a multiply divide node. Expand it. And then in the input one, Pipe in the out U into input X and then out V into input Y. And then change the input 2 to negative 1 and negative 1 on the Y. Expand the output and then type in a new condition node. Expand the condition node. Rename it into flip U switch. In the second term, type in one. I'm just gonna duplicate the node to save time. And then rename it to flip V switch. Rearranging the notes. So expand the color if true and color if false. Pipe in the output X to color if true R. Output Y to the color if true G on the flip V switch. Then take the out U from the place 2D and pipe it into color if false R. And then take the out V into the color if false G. Take the out color R of the flip U switch and connect it to the U coordinate of the file node. And in a similar fashion, take the out color G of the flip V switch and plug it into the V coordinate. And then it's pretty much done for the setup. And then assign the material to the mesh. And then test it to see if it's working, which it should if you connect it exactly how I showed you. Moving on to the last method, which is using Arnold nodes. Now bring in an AI standard surface material. And then bring in an AI UV transform node. Take the out color of the AI UV transform node and plug it into base color of the AI standard surface. Now just bring in the file texture node. Go to the UV transform attributes. If you scroll down, you'll see the flip U and the flip V options. 
And as the name suggests, it flips the U and the V of the texture. Now I'm just going to switch to the Arnold Viewport Renderer and show you how it looks like. Here I just forgot to apply the material so I'm going to apply it and re-render again. And just like that, just clicking the flip V and flip U to flip the texture. And the repeat works just like the repeat UV in the place 2D node. And there you have it. Three ways to flip textures in Maya. If you haven't already, please drop a like and subscribe as it will help me greatly in producing quality content and keeping this channel free.